in Brooklyn from Tesla Motors. And we're doing a quick tour of their store and showroom, and uh, we're gonna do a test drive after that. So, come, please lead us, lead the way. So, welcome to Tesla. This is our Menlo Park store. It's our our biggest showroom here, and it's also our service center. So, our cars, um, all of the cars, come here and have their final assembly. So, this is where, when somebody buys a Roadster where their roadster comes to have the battery installed and the motor installed. So is this how it looks like when it yeah. comes to the first No, this model is actually a clay Thank model you. of the first roadster ever. This is where we actually do the assembly. You'll see um, we have the motors right here. So when the glider comes, we our service people take the battery and install it into the car and they take the motor and install it into the car and as you can tell you know it's not a production you know there's not a automatic production going on people are actually here installing the cars and so we um we make about 20 to 25 a week how we charge the Roadster. Um, it's really, really simple. It's, it's like charging your cell phone. Um, every car has one of these, and when you come home at night, you can plug it in to a plug, but just like this, a regular outlet, and let it charge up for the night. And so it's blinking like this when it's charging, and then it's blue when it's done. Really simple. And it's a lithium ion battery. Again, it's the same kind of battery that you have in your laptop, just a lot bigger. And this is the power electronics module or the brain of the car. Um, it's where the AC adapter is, which is the technology that um, Nikola Tesla, the Serbian who initially created that years ago, mm -hmm. and that's what the company is named after. That's where you know all of the technology and software is that speaks to the battery. Do you guys have a program for taking the batteries back? What do you do? For recycling? Yes. We do. Yes. Um, so there's the, these batteries should last about 10 years. Yes. Okay. So they actually last a very long time. Yeah. And we um, work with the company to, um, to recycle them at the end. However, lithium ion batteries have no bad material. So if someone is going to be you know, as lazy as just throwing it in the garbage dump, it wouldn't leak any toxic material at all. So. You know, that, I mean, still, we would never recommend right. someone to just trash it. Absolutely. But if it did happen, it's not um, detrimental to the environment in that way. We're going to start the test drive. And I only have me and Mr. Norman, which is uh, taping us. Hello. <laughs> so, you know, let's show here the dashboard. When we turn the car on, all we need to do is press the D, D button. And uh, if we are parking, we'll pe uh, press the P. Reverse obviously is um, R. So let's get started. Is it on? I think so. <laughs> All right, it's on. And uh, it doesn't even feel like it's on. Let's press the D button. And here we go. This is awesome, people! <laughs> <laughs> that is insane! Can you guys hear this? No changing gears, nothing. It just goes and that's it. The steering wheel is, uh, feels just like another high-end sports car. And the difference is that it's pure electric and it's uh, it, it's chargeable every night. So the Tesla uh, company was founded by Elon Musk, which is one of the founders of PayPal. When he got uh, his money out of PayPal, he founded Tesla and another space something company. The four door is going to launch in 2011 and it's called the Model S. can do 0 to 60 in 3.9 seconds. That's insane, in case you're wondering. 
And uh, I believe one Ferrari can uh, go faster than that, only one kind of Ferrari. And this is pretty impressive for a company that's pretty new. So there's almost no noise in this car, even if the even with the top being soft covered. For 244 miles in one single charge but they just broke the world record in Australia for going 313 miles on one charge so now we're gonna show you some fun footage with the top off Are coming back unfortunately we have to return the Tesla <laughs> and uh, it was an amazing experience I wish I could just take it with me but uh, they'll buy it one of these days someday someday we'll get a Tesla